Hello and welcome to our weekly programme. The global economic crisis, education, protection of children using the internet and cross-border matrimonial disputes are all on the plenary agenda. The European Parliament is returning to Strasbourg after two extraordinary sessions in Brussels. When EU leaders met in Brussels last Wednesday and Thursday, the main focus was on the economic and financial situation facing Europe and how the EU can contribute to an international solution to the crisis. The summit's conclusions are the topic of the key debate in Strasbourg. EBPED Group Chairman Joseph Dahl is expected to take part in the debate, which will also focus on the energy climate package and a promise by the Irish government to propose an action plan to break the deadlock caused by Ireland's no to the Lisbon Treaty. Erasmus Mundus has been one of the most successful EU programmes, which is scheduled to end in December. On Monday, MEPs discuss extending the scheme. Erasmus Mundus aims at enhancing the quality of higher education in Europe by promoting cooperation with third countries. Ludmila Novak is EPPED spokesperson on a report which prepares its second phase, which will last until 2013. Among the political priorities in the report is support for public-private partnerships between universities and enterprises in order to foster excellence in research. Members are also tackling issues closer to home with a report on protecting children from unsafe internet use, as well as a report which deals with legislation on marriage issues. Children are vulnerable when using the internet. A parliamentary report aims at making communication technologies safer. Chaba Sogor is EPPED spokesperson on a report on the protection of children using the internet. Proposals include the use of filters, coordination of links between member states' databases on child abuse and a common European database. There is an increasing number of international couples divorcing in the EU. Paniotos Dimitriou is EPPED spokesperson on a report addressing this issue and its legal consequences for couples, such as choice of jurisdiction and information on the practical implications of divorce. The Council is divided on the issue and some countries have agreed to use the enhanced cooperation method which will allow them to proceed with agreements on an ad hoc basis. For more information on the week's highlights, log on to our website, epp-ed.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.